change the world. Here's medical reporter Sophie Scott. It's the stuff of science fiction, a machine controlled by the mind. When Jordan explained to me how it works and that this wheelchair really can uh, read humans' uh, thoughts, uh, I was really excited. Users operate the Australian design chair simply by thinking certain thoughts and by blinking. Users wear a headband fitted with electrodes that can read brain waves. It allows them to command the chair, telling it where to go. The camera helps navigate the chair around obstacles. It's something that oh, my ability, it, Daddy. not just my ability, just a general sense of independence. It's been trialled on 20 people with good results. You just have to close your eyes uh, when you want to choose the direction uh, or when you want to stop. That's it. It differs from similar technology being developed overseas as it's simpler to use and cheaper to put together. We look deep inside the brain of people and uh, we provide a different uh, strategy to, uh, for to communicate with people. What we've kept in mind for the prototype is to make it accessible, inexpensive and uh, allow the people who will need it to be able to access it. This wheelchair will change the world of people with different uh, troubles and uh, different illnesses because it's very easy uh, to uh, control it. Researchers are now hoping to get funding for a clinical trial of 100 Daddy, severely disabled people. Focus so Scott, ABC News. On to finance and AMP and West.